What's up, it's Cinema Shogun here, and I don't know about y'all, but I can't help but spot the striking similarities between the Gabby Petito case and the Quentin Simon case. I mean, in both cases, we had someone missing that we all pretty much assumed the worst had happened to, and we had the person who we believe was responsible out free, not being held accountable. So... That's just one of the similarities. Of course, we also had Brian Laundrie's family taking him out on camping trips and things like that. Whereas we have the Simons family, our Quentin Simons family. They're out going to oyster bars and drinking tequila. And then we have some of the same protesters who were in front of Gabby Petita, or Brian Laundrie's home, are outside of Quentin Simons' home. There's a lot of drama. There's this nonstop search. This, there's this constant want and need for updates and information. And I just spot a lot of similarities between the two. And we're hoping that it ends at that. And Leilani, Quentin Simon's mom, doesn't pull a Brian Laundry. although I think a lot of us are just waiting on it. Honestly, myself, I'm just waiting to wake up one day and people be like, hey, Leilani done hard ass off. We don't know where she is. I'm just waiting on it. Now, up until this point, law enforcement has made it clear that they don't really know where Leilani is on a day-to-day -day basis. They believe she's in Chatham County. That's all they said, that they believe that she's in Chatham County. That's an entire county. They can't even pinpoint her to her home or whatever home she's at. So, I'm just halfway expecting any moment now that she disappears, okay? The longer this draws out. But speaking of this being like the Gabby Petito, Brian Laundry situation, now yesterday, there's been memorials and stuff forming in front of Quentin Simon's house, but yesterday, Quentin Simon's family put out this new sign, basically threatening people that they have a camera and if you come on their property, you're going to be on camera. Well, that sticks out to me a lot. Because if you had a camera showing the people who are coming on your property, then do you not have a camera that showed Leilani leaving the house that, that morning when Quentin Simon went missing? Did the camera at your house capture something? on the morning that Quentin Simon went missing, because hear me out here, fellas and ladies. They say they got a camera watching people. Now they could be bluffing. Maybe they're just lying, right? They don't seem like the most trust per trustworthy people in the world. In fact, you know, we're talking about the laundries and Brian Laundry and the, the similarities between these cases. If you ask me, this family seems kind of worse than the laundries. I mean, the laundries, they disgusted us because they wouldn't talk. But that's all they did. They just wouldn't talk. They wouldn't say anything. They wouldn't talk to Gabby Petito's family. They were silent. And that pissed us all off. And we all just assumed that they were the worst people imaginable. Now, this family, they have lengthy records. They've been in all type of stuff multiple murderers in the family, you name it. So the whole time we were villainizing the laundries, which rightfully so, this family seems even worse. In fact, someone sent me over this meme. But anyways, assuming that they're not lying about this camera, because of course they could lie, then that would mean that this camera had to be there when Quentin Simon went missing, correct? Because, listen, the news has been out there all day, these random YouTubers have been out there all day. Neighbors have been out there all day for weeks now. Okay? There's hardly a moment when there, where there's not eyes and cameras fixated on that home. So they didn't have anyone come in and install new cameras during this period. It's not like they called, hey, come on, come install some security cameras now. We would have known. We would have seen it. Someone would have seen it. It would have made breaking news. Oh, Leilani's grandparents put up security cameras. We would have known about it. So if this camera exists, 
then I would have to believe that it existed before Quentin Simon went missing. Which means that that camera, if it wasn't shut off, should have caught something that morning, regardless if it was Leilani leaving the house, Leilani walking around the front yard pretending that she's searching for Quentin, or maybe it caught the direction that Leilani left in when she pulled out of the driveway. I can guarantee you all that if that camera does exist and it wasn't purposely tampered with that morning that Quentin Simon went missing, that it probably caught something. It probably caught something. It might be, it might not be like the the smoking gun that detectives need, but at the very least, if they could look at the surveillance footage and gather what direction she drove in, that's actually a big piece of the puzzle. Just seeing what direction she drove in when she pulled out of the driveway. That's major. So I'm hoping that we get something or that we won't get something. I'm hoping that detectives got something from this camera. But only time will tell. Let me know what you think about this, though, down in the comments below. While you're down there, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and I'll talk to you all in the next video.